Test patterns are added to highlight an area or identify a material such as concrete or steel. This concrete box around the valve assembly needs to have a pattern added. We can select from Pattern, Solid, Gradient, or User Defined. As noted, in this case we're going to use Pattern. I'm going to select the concrete pattern from the list and then click in the areas that need to be patterned. We can see from the preview that in fact it's showing up as white. There's something wrong with the scale. It's much too dense. So I'm going to increase that number from 1 all the way up to 50. And that looks much better. Once you're happy that the pattern is correct, then you can click on Close Hat Creation and the pattern is added to your drawing. Some other examples of using hatch patterns are on this engineering mechanical assembly of an engine. In this case there are a number of hatch patterns such as on the cooling fins or mechanical parts such as bearings or springs. Adding hatch patterns or fills improves the visualization of a drawing.